Yo got revisited. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. So one of the very first vids I did was about how one of my buddies reached out to me and wanted to get back into shape after fucking sitting on his ass for about 20 fucking years. Uh, and uh, I suggested he start with yoga. And he was like, yoga's gay, blah, 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 whatever. And you can see the fucking vid. It's fucking weird for me to watch it because it's been so fucking long. But, you know, I had like kind of a revisit to this fucking the other day where a dude was asking me like, what all do you do for squatting? What all do you do for this? And I was like, well, I do yoga at least two to three times a week. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, yoga, really? Uh, uh, I don't, don't know if I could do that or like that. And meanwhile, you know... 15 minutes beforehand, this guy was getting a spot from one of his fucking buddies on the squat, and, you know, and, like, they're literally fucking, like, cocked the fucking butthole, you know, trying to get this fucking spot going on to make sure he fucking doesn't crush himself under the fucking weight. Now, that, for some reason, is not, doesn't say anything about his manhood, but being in a room full of fucking fit chicks in tight fucking pants, bending over and shit like that, somehow, you know, diminishes his manhood somehow. Uh, you know, the fucking gym bro shit, like, I, I understand, like, guys that just want to be there to look a little better, not but not really, like, look a lot better, or to get a little stronger, but not be a lot stronger. I, under I understand they're there to try to just fucking chill and show off for each other and all that fucking shit. I understand that, like, you know, it it's just a fucking gym bro thing, because I started as a fucking gym bro, and I think everybody starts as a fucking gym bro. Nobody fucking picks it up and be like, yeah, I'm going to be a fucking power lifter, or I'm going to be a fucking, you know, you know world-class bodybuilder. Nobody fucking starts that way, I don't think. Everybody starts as just a gym bro or something for their sport or something like that, right? But if you're going to be a competitive power powerlifter in today's world, you need to do something to make sure you have some sort of hip mobility and hip flexibility and stuff like that, Some something, you know, ankle mobility, all sorts of shit. Not to mention that yoga is a fucking crazy ass fucking workout. I'd much rather do yoga, uh, you know, hard yoga flow as cardio than some sort of fucking like run, road running, like the banging on your fucking knees and fucking your ankles and your lower back. Fuck that shit. Especially when I, even, even when I was younger, but especially now that I'm older, I don't want that kind of fucking abuse on my fucking body. But, you know, it always amazes me how like, you know, the same dudes that will literally take fucking steroids to impress only the fucking other dudes in their fucking gym, because nine, t nine, t nine out of ten people that use steroids, that's what the fuck they use it for. They use steroids to get bigger and stronger to impress the other fucking dudes they fucking know. They'll fucking do that shit, but yet, like, we'll have this, like, you know, not want to do fucking yoga or other shit that will actually help them lift, help them fucking progress, you know? I always find it amazing. I always find it amazing how these younger fucking kids were like, oh, really? You do yoga? First of all, I'm a, you know, it is fucking, you know, most of the time it's good looking women in fucking tight pants. <laughs> you fucking idiots. I mean, like, but second, like, meet a fucking fit chick. Trust me, it'll fucking change your fucking life. A flexible fit chick who likes taking care of herself and is into fitness and, 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 and very flexible. Fuck it. I know I said flexible and fit a couple times, but those are the fucking things that come to mind when I think fucking yoga. You know, what the fuck? I mean, like, it, it amazes me. Like, gym bros are... <laughs> gym bros really, really, really have not evolved at all in, like, 30 fucking years. It's so fucking pathetic. You know, a, a, a few people like, wow, we learn more about nutrition, how we learn more about supplementation... We learn more about training programs and everything like that. Gym bros, they, th they fucking remain the same. It's still the fucking same shit. But I, I, I always get reminded about this every fucking time I see some fucking dude kind of like snicker as, you know, one guy walks into the fucking uh, yoga room before me. Uh, you know, these fucking young kids are like kind of like snickered at this one guy. And I'm like, you guys should try it. They fucking come in, they try it. And next thing you know, they're fucking talking to fucking girls afterwards. Like, you know, that, that they would normally never fucking speak to, you know? Anyway, my name's Alan Roberts. It's Everyday Day Fitness. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. My internet channel is EverydayMDayFitness.com, where you can see my other uh, my other channel is Every Damn Day Life with some uh, non-fitness stuff. Goddamn.